John Hannah will be accepting on Charlie's behalf and will be presenting the plaque by Gil Bruce. I'm surprised Charlie didn't show the picture of the, of the LA Times while they're the end of the I'm supposed to be here for Charlie tonight, but to be here for Charlie, you've got to lose about 50 pounds and gain about four inches in height. People don't understand, as you'll see with David, I'm the run of the litter. So uh, we'll go from there. But we were playing uh, Charlie in my last season when he was with the Raiders, and our owner, who was not uh, a role model by any means, sat at a goal stand the whole night. He was cussing and swearing at Howie Long and Matt Mill and those guys, and I was warning him to be quiet, because I was, I was one that's having a block, but not him, you know. It's kind of bothered me. But anyway, we, were, we won the game, and we're walking off the field, and it's myself and a, a teammate, Steve Nelson, uh, at the end, of Mike Haynes was with the Raiders and Charlie. We're walking on the field and talking about the game. And all of a sudden, we saw this big commotion. Here from Matt Millen and our owner, Pat Sullivan, uh, in fisticuffs. And so it was the second until I saw Charlie back there. And he lets in the Pat just like this. And that's on the LA Times front page. <laughs> Charlie smacked him on and so <laughs> he was the same contract negotiations were limited for me after that. <laughs> what Charlie did, he went to, to uh, accept this award and what I asked him to send me an email and I'm just going to read it to you. I'm grateful for the award, embarrassed by my absence and missed sharing the experience of joining my brother. John, as an inductee of the Marshall County Sports Hall of Fame, and in the same year as another brother, David, joins, going in together is special and rare. After struggling to decide what should be displayed at tonight's banquet, I decided to send several photos of myself when I was young, and as many youth team's photos as I could find. I did it for two reasons. First, that is when athletes begin to really embrace competition simply because they simply find it fun. Second, that was the reason season of my life when I spent the most time in Alabama. Of all my memories of sports participation when I was growing up, the most dominant and consistent re recollection is that it was fun. It seemed like the whole town showed up for the Little League Baseball and Pee Wee Football. Even if we did occasionally have to endure the chicken feather aroma blowing <laughs> over from the processing plant next door. We never asked if we were going to watch games at my house. We always went. Tuesdays and Fridays in the spring, and Thursdays in the fall. Those were game nights for kids. After we played, we couldn't wait to see if our name was mentioned to stand out of the court. We rode bicycles to practice. It was our responsibility to get there, ready to go, not our parents' job, to pry us away from our game console, to get in the car so we could safely get to practice, and we typically showed up early because it was fun. As a parent, I now realize that someone had to take their time to make each of those memories happen. More people than I could ever have known about, much less recollect now, to attempt to thank an individual. I do want to mention one man, Earl Hedgepath. He wouldn't allow full contact with Pee Wee football practices when I played for him on the Redskins. I remember being so frustrated. It turns out he was way ahead of his time, and I owe him thanks for saving me for a few extra brain cells. <laughs> Having grown up in Tampa, my children couldn't enjoy those same feelings. The opportunity to create them is only available in small towns. How can the Tampa Tribune write about every game at all the parks around the Bay Area? 
How can a kid feel at the whole town is his ballpark when they are crowded around people all the time? What parent in their right mind will allow their kids to be responsible to get them to practice by crossing major intersections along six and eight lane highways on the bicycle? It is my hope that my children miss out on these kind of experiences. I enjoy because they miss growing up in the area I grew up in, and not because they miss growing up in the era I grew up in. I hope people in small towns everywhere, especially in Alabama, and most especially the people of Alabama, continue to understand the uniqueness of the gift they can offer young people and that they continue to dedicate their time to maximizing the positive impact of those opportunities. Because you never know when, by simply making a game fun, <coughs> you spark something in a skinny kid, like the one in the old photos on the table, to enjoy blessings beyond what he could have imagined. To those who made it fun for me, most of them, with us only in memory, I want to say thank you for the gift. I'm likely talking about the parents as those as attendants. To those who are here, thank you for this honor. It is especially meaningful coming from my own town. To God, thank you for including these experiences and honors as among the many gifts you have granted me.